Good morning, Kettering Captains, and welcome to the 1920 school year. Hopefully you've noticed by walking the building that we've made pretty substantial changes, but some things haven't changed. I'm Mrs. Cooper, principal here at Kettering, and I'm so excited to welcome back both of our assistant principals, Mrs. Worthman and Mr. Gregory. Just as a reminder, Mrs. Worthman works with students with the last names A through L, and Mr. Gregory with the students with the last names M through Z. We are also fortunate to have Officer Golda back with us serving as the school liaison officer and Mr. Matakash, the school safety and security officer. So just some general expectations in the building. Again, as we have made some changes and our building is really shining, thanks in great part to our custodial staff that have really worked tirelessly all summer to that end. We expect that you follow our key terms with respect and responsibility when it comes to behavior, when it comes to the building, and when it comes to the care and um, dutiful spirit of your classmates. So you treat others with respect, that's essential in the building, not only with your classmates, but also with our staff members. And that means really all of our staff members, our teachers, our food service employees, our bus drivers, we are all part of the captain family and we treat each other with respect. We ask you to also respect the building. It's clean and shiny, you will notice that. We'd like it to stay that way. And that's really all of our parts. Um, we'd also like you to take responsibility for your decision making. Your actions really demonstrate who you are starting to become as a young adult, and then that carries you through all four years of your experience here at Kettering. We exude Captain Pride in all that we say and all that we do, every place that we're wearing the green and white. So pride stands for being positive, being respectful, having a strong sense of integrity, and that's demonstrating right and wrong. That's demonstrating that you are submitting your own work and you take pride in your assignments and quizzes and tests that you're submitting to your teachers. You are dependable. We know that you will do what you say and say what you do and you mean that. You will be to class on time. That means when the breakfast line ends at 7.15, you are getting to first hour because we are rolling with the classes. We are not waiting for all of the students to arrive. We are beginning when that bell rings and we really need to focus on your instruction hour to hour, every minute to every minute. So please, again, be dependable, be on time to classes. And then you're demonstrating excellence, not only in your grades and your standardized assessments, but also in how you carry yourself as a young man, as a young woman, as a human, as a part of the captain family. Hi, I'm Mrs. Worthman, and I'm going to be talking to you about the Code of Conduct. Every student starts each year with a fresh slate. We start our behavior over. All staff members at Kettering can redirect a student's behavior. To avoid compounding a situation, follow the direction of staff members. It's best after being redirected just to move on. Kettering is a closed campus. Students may not leave the building to go to the parking lot during the school day without permission from the main office. When leaving the campus during the school day, follow these procedures. Your parent or guardian calls you out. Students receive a passport, which is delivered to their class. Student exits through the main office doors and shows the passport when it's time to leave. Social media. There are many discipline issues related to social media at Kettering. If you don't use social media, obviously there's no social media consequences. And be nice. As you know, your social media footprint stays with you forever. Hello, Captains. This is Mr. Gregory. We're going to talk a little bit about suspension uh, and some of the facts related to suspension at Kettering High School. The in-school suspension room has moved to room 304A, which is located just beyond the cafeteria as you're heading toward the football stadium. That'll be a change from past practice. Uh, in addition, students who are suspended are expected to make up any of their missing work, and then those assignments will be due upon your return to class. While on suspension, students may not participate in school activities or sports and are not allowed on school district property. During the suspension, it is important to keep the details of the suspension and the consequences confidential. We want to make sure we're respecting your privacy and the privacy of others who may be involved. Driving and parking. Please uh, remain cautious and drive safely on school grounds. Uh, it is a very busy place. Uh, when you are driving on school property, be careful, drive slowly, 
drive as though your family were in the other car. There are accidents in the parking lot every school year, so please be very cautious. Students must have a parking pass to drive to school, and those parking passes are available in the main office. Passes can be revoked due to parking, driving, tardiness, or behavioral issues. Again, parking and driving on our campus is a privilege for our students. Please remain safe. Let's talk about lunch. So we are making some significant changes to our lunch menu, to our lunch space. You will notice immediately that we've expanded the seating area, and we are also hoping to expand the options to be able to go outside um, for lunches on, on nice days. So that would mean that you're responsible for your own trash. You're making the area better than you found it. You are throwing away your garbage. You're not throwing it across the room. You're placing it in a trash receptacle, which is so incredibly helpful. You will be staying in the cafeteria for the duration of lunch. Your food is all consumed in the cafeteria. The classrooms, the hallways are not a space to eat. That just breeds other issues when we don't take care of our needs. Um, you need to stay in the cafeteria till the doors are open and you are dismissed by an adult. And then again, for those of you who were here last year, as you exit to maintain the appropriate traffic flow for our sense of efficiency during lunch, as you exit, you will be asked to what we call walk the square back to your fifth hour class. And we will be giving you gentle reminders that even though your class may be meeting in the LGI, that we are asking you to walk all the way around. And you'll be pleasantly surprised how many steps you can accrue in this building in one short day. Relative to loitering, all students are expected to be off campus by 2.45 every day unless you are participating in a school activity supervised by staff, which we encourage. Please look at our clubs and activities that are available to you. Our sporting teams can always use an additional player teammate. Um, if you are not involved in an activity, please make sure that your rides are here, that you're with your, your people that are transporting you or you are on the bus. As a reminder, on Thursdays with our early release, you should be planning to be off campus by 1.45. You will not have access to lockers or the building after hours, again, unless you're with a sports team or an activity. Students waiting for a ride should remain in the lobby by the main office or outside of the main office doors. Academic updates this year. We will not be running the NWEA testing this year. However, we are having the PSAT NMSQT at the end of October. PSAT 9, 10, SAT, and MSTEP will all take place in April. We ask that you um, take those tests seriously. The reputation of Kettering, the reputation of your teachers and administrators is dependent on you taking those tests seriously and you will receive a lot of practice specifically designed to help you find success on those tests. Teachers will review and augment their lessons with test prep, instructional strategies, um, tips and tricks to do well on those tests throughout your year here at Kettering and all of your core classes in addition to your electives where you will hear and learn about how those elective classes that you're taking support and embrace the core topics as well. In addition, we ask you to make sure that you're maintaining your College Board login to the portal and that you are accessing Khan Academy, which is a free support website that is directly aligned with your scores that you've received on PSAT 8, 9, 10, and so on. So again, that website is on the screen, www khanacademy.org. If you have any trouble accessing those websites, please let one of your counselors know or one of the administrators and we can certainly help you with that. We hope that you make it a great year. Make sure that you are reaching out to those support people if you need anything. Please make sure that you see a counselor, a teacher, an adult in the building, one of the administrators, and go green.